Hey there, what's going on? It's Lisa here, Raw Food for Kids. Hope you're having a super awesome day. Hope you had fun yesterday for uh, Halloween. Uh, took the kids out, uh, trick or treating. Jen and I had a good time. They're just so so darn cute when they're that little dressed up. Uh, Avery and Rylan were little mini uh, chefs, and uh, Mackenzie was the uh, the good uh, witch of the East. So, anyways. Um, I hope you're staying warm too. I'm standing right next to my heater. That's why I'm in a tank top. I'm nice and cozy. And uh, need something nice and hearty. I'm going to make a, a raw oatmeal. Never made a raw oatmeal before, but I got inspired because I made some uh, fresh coconut milk um, yesterday. And um, when uh, Jen and I used to have oatmeal, I would make kind of like an, uh, a regular oatmeal and then we would always heat up some some milk and kind of pour that on top and eat it that way. We always enjoyed it. So I thought, why not make a raw oatmeal? Um, and this is going to be very satisfying, very hearty for, uh, you know, the cold months. And uh, the milk, since this was ice cold out of the fridge, I just, this is just uh, coconut milk. And uh, what I did was I had uh, the meat from four coconuts. Now this will vary because sometimes I have a coconut that has a ton of meat in it and sometimes it has barely any. But um, this was the meat from four coconuts, and I just put it in the blender with some water to get it started to blend up real smooth. And then um, I basically added enough water to the consistency that I wanted. You can make this really thick and rich like a coconut cream, or you can make it thinner. Um, so I just kind of tasted it and made it to the consistency that I liked. Um, so I made about a, a quart of it. And uh, what I did was after I prayed it with the water, I put it through a, a, a fine mesh strainer just to strain out any pieces of coconut that didn't get broken up. And then I added in about a tablespoon of honey just to sweeten it up. You can use whatever sweetener you want. So um, so that's how I made the coconut milk. So anyways, let's make the, um, the oatmeal. I'm going to make it real simple. I'm going to make it exactly like I would make regular oatmeal, except for instead of oats, I'm going to use almonds. And um, I soaked these almonds for probably about 18 hours. You, you want to do at least 18 and 24 hours. The longer the better, uh, just to soften them up. And you also want to, um, you know, get rid of some of these uh, kind of toxic um, enzymes or whatever you want to call them on the skin um, that aren't very good for you. So um, you could digest them better. So anyways, I got about half a cup. I'm making one serving. And I generally you do... Um, low fat and um, but this is good fat for you and uh, so if you eat a, eat something like this in the morning just kinda balance it out throughout the day but this but this will keep you nice and full and satisfied so I got a half a cup of almonds that's gonna be like my oats and then what I would normally do is I would put like some cinnamon in there so I'm just gonna salt to taste sprinkle in a little cinnamon Alright, a little bit of vanilla I would put in there, a little vanilla extract. Just a little tiny bit. I would put in um, a little bit of salt. I got some Himalayan pink salt. A little bit of that in there. Oh, and I have a little bit of the um, coconut um, milk warming on the stove. Because I don't want it ice, ice cold. This stuff is all room temperature, but... Um, the milk is ice cold, so I'm just warming it up on the stove. That's totally fine. Um, so I got that, and I'm just going to kind of pulse it, and then I'm going to throw in some raisins. All right, so this is very simple. I'll repeat everything. Throw in some raisins. I like raisins in my oatmeal. Good. And you can put whatever you want in there. You could put uh, mixed nuts. You could put um, other dried fruit in there if you want. Uh, I mean, normally when I make oatmeal, that's uh, pretty much what I do is just oats, cook them in water, cinnamon, a little bit of uh, vanilla, a little salt. And um, generally for my sweetener, I don't put any of my oatmeal. What I do is I put my milk uh, over it, and, uh, and then I drizzle on some, uh, some agave is what I'm going to do. Or you could use honey. So let me just pulse this up. Give it a 
give it a taste. Mm, smells like good. Mm. Oh, I'm making dessert. I'm going to pulse it just a tad longer. Those almonds, because they've been soaking, are soft, but not, they're still crunchy. But I like that. It's got some texture. Mm. Yummy. I think that's perfect. This is what I got. Basically, finely ground almonds. All right, you want to do enough almonds, that's your oats. So, there's really no right or wrong. I mean, this is probably one serving, maybe two servings, depending on how hungry you are. Might be two servings. I might have a little, save a little bit for myself. But, um, basically, that's your oats and uh, it's a little cinnamon, a little vanilla extract, a little salt. Bring out the sweetness, little raisins, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna save a drop for myself. Mm. All right, well, there's your oat, the oatmeal. Now I'm gonna take this coconut milk. You can use almond milk. Let's see, mm. perfect. If you can take something off the stove and stick a spoon in it. And drink it and not be burned. It's warm. It's, you don't have to worry about destroying anything. So I got this nice homemade coconut milk. You can use almond milk, like I said. I mean, <clears throat> I try to stay away from soy, but you could use some organic soy milk if you had that in the house. And what I like to do is I just ladle it kind of around. That way you kind of have something to interesting. Textures keep things interesting. Yummy. And then, mm, got that for a little sweetness. All right, because it's oatmeal. I'm gonna take a little agave, and I'm gonna just drizzle that right over the top. That's all. This is all to taste. Jen likes it sweet. And. Um, there you go. I have a little bit of hemp seeds. I was thinking maybe a little tiny sprinkle of hemp seeds on top. And voila, we have got a raw oatmeal with a little bit of warm coconut milk. Let's see, I'm going to let you know how it is. A little drizzle of agave. You can put honey. See, and just eat it. Get some of that liquid in there. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That's really good. If I make something and I tell you it's good, it's good. I wouldn't lie to you. That's really good. It's nice. It's nice with the, you got a little bit of crunch, a little bit of, it's, it's hearty, it's sweet. You got this warm coconut milk that's just real satisfied, it's real satisfying. Mmm. Easy to eat. You could make this um, oatmeal mixture, the nut mixture. You can make enough for like a couple days worth. I'd say like about three days worth with the raisins, the cinnamon, the vanilla. Let it sit in your fridge and um, and just kind of let the fla flavors vary so you don't have to mess with this every day. But you can make it enough for like three days worth. And then all you have to do is just... Uh, you know, warm up your uh, your milk on the uh, the stove, and same with the um, with the nut mixture. I mean, you're just warming, you're just taking the chill off because you don't want to eat something ice cold out of the fridge on a cold day. Um, you know, or pull it out and let it get to room temperature, but uh, just warm it up ever so gently, and um, and then you got a nice hearty breakfast. Um, you know, on a cold winter day because. I've been eating less and drinking less and less smoothies uh, lately with with the cold weather. I've been eating just more fruit and actually juicing more some green juices because I've been just in the mood for something more savory. So um, I'm gonna have a little bit of this this morning. And um, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to these videos if you haven't. Always appreciate any thumbs up if you like the videos and. Um,
any comments you have, I always love hearing from you. So um, thanks so much. I'll take a picture, post it on Facebook, and have a super awesome day. Remember, always eat happy foods. This is happy foods. Put a smile on your face and make it feel really good. Take care.